Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Nice tonic out there, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right, message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Uh, I'm looking for my father, middle aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Hmm. Tell me more about your town. What do you want to know? Why is the town called Megaton? The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off yet. Who would build a town around a bomb? That's crazy. It's not like the place was put up overnight. Megaton's been here for decades, been growing and growing ever since. Started out as a small settlement of people trying to get into Vault 101. When they were denied, they stuck around here. Some of them started worshipping the thing like a god. Now we've got a whole goddamn church. They're nuts, no doubt, but mostly harmless. By now, most people don't give a shit. They figure if it ain't gone off by now, it never will. I respectfully disagree. Hmm. I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Hmm. Termination expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. That's pretty steep. Uh, fine. Uh, do it and you'll get your money. Don't screw up, though. Or we'll all regret it. <clears throat> do you know anything about the area outside Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Hmm. Alright. I could use some directions around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Where's the closest clinic? Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, but the man's got talent and confession. Is there a weapons dealer around here? You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Is there a bar in town? Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. Hmm. I need some equipment. Where's the nearest general store? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> <laughs> where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Nova? Like... Uh, never mind. Uh, let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What's on your mind? Uh, not that I'm helping you. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. Hmm. You know the kind a man gets when he's Is got that so? Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Alright, I have to go now. Don't blow us up now. Hey, Smoothskin. Do you need something? Uh... Anything? Anything, anything at all? 
God, fuck. What are you? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? No, what's a ghoul? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into oh. a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. You know, it's not so bad. Nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? Fake it till you make it and all that. Still, though, a fake compliment is better than the usual spit in the face that I get. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. Hmm. So, I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. God, please. If you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. I was like you once. I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. If, you got a, if you've got a point, make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete, the last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away, and you are going to see that it does. Wait, you're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Hmm. You're out of your mind, Burke. There's no way I'm helping you. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Yeah. Good fucking day. I oh my god! Ah! Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home. My slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Hmm. Uh, I'm looking for my father. Middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little what? baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, Excuse me? It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Well, uh, what? Uh, my father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That uh, he was born there as well? Uh, oh, uh, the uh, lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend, 
And you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. <sighs> I thought I told you we were born in Vaults 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Hmm. Taking advantage of eh? <clears throat> how, how about this, huh? How's Kidding? Dad talks about you all the time. Now, really, where is he? Did he? Well, our time together was brief, but that is the way of it out here. When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, yeah, I'm yeah, true, here, true. He left. I'm truly sorry, but maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those lonies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. Hmm. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. All right, uh, <clears throat> I have to go now. And so now we part. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Uh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Uh... Uh... Sure. I've got funny to say about life in the vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Hmm... Well, as far as the vault goes, it was... It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting. Until Dad left. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Well, he wears a Maybe coat the over it, so... Suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Armored falsehood. Uh, what, what, what's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could sure. really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, mm. then they mm. just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Hmm... <clears throat> okay, I'll, I guess I'll help with this survival guide. Alright then! Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things mm. like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Uh, what's this about radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not uh, a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. You want me to get irradiated? How could that possibly be, be worth it to me? Oh, 
don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing Brahmin milk for you when you get back. Uh, well, mostly just a whole lot of rad X and rad away. It may be even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Okay, I'll get radiated. Just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see mm. to it that you're well taken care of. Uh, do you sell any specialty items? Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, mm. if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I have to go now. See ya. His power, feel his glow. <laughs> Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? <clears throat> oh, what's up? I. Uh, uh, let's talk about radiation. Oh, <clears throat> feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> <coughs> I'm about as ready as I can get that burning a hole in the floor. I can tell. You're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Oh, oh I feel fine. <coughs> Never better. <coughs> no problem at all. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. Putting on a brave face like that. Well... Don't worry, it'll all be better. And it's for a good cause. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, <coughs> a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was mm. a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, what? But it seems to be benign, at least. M Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Uh, when I saw from advanced radiation poisoning, Crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Oh, that's not a bad mutation, I, I guess. Um, I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Uh, g getting food doesn't sound so bad. Uh, what you're looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So mm. they need a good place to find them. There's an right. old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll check the super duper mart. Oh, great. Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Uh, okay. I have to go now. Good luck with that research. Yep. Well, now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault, we've been looking for you. Someone's what? put quite a price on your head. What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do, and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? What? Such a shame. What did I do? I, I, I didn't do nothing. Something useful. Ah well. Time to die. 
Can't we talk this out? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Come on, fellas. Let's not do this now. Come on now, let's not get silly here. There's no need for this, gentlemen. I don't know who put a price on my head, and I really don't care why, but you really need to stand down. You're getting a special treatment there, Sonny. You're getting a real ass woofing. That's what you get for trying to mess with me. Hello? Is there anyone inside here? I need... Uh... Sir? Do you know if there's any food or... Oh! I will not hold still for you. You hold still. There you go. Gotcha now, Sonny! Having been got the food medicine uh, from that super duper mart. <clears throat> it wasn't easy, but I got the food and medicine. Really, you did? You did? Well, all yep. right. Tell me all about it. Well, it's very hard to talk my way past that many people shooting at me. Oh dear. Well, I guess the dangers around those old supplies keeps it from being smooth sailing. Otherwise, they'd have already been looted, huh? Well, keep what you got. <clears throat> sure. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. The taste kind of grates after a while. Oh. Oh, uh, and take, uh, take this. It's what? an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. A food sanitizer? All right. Thank you, Mara. Um... Let's finish up the chapter of that landmine research. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm mm. one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've mm. heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Mm. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Uh, that seems kind of unhealthy. How will you make it worth my while? What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Frag what? grenades, in this case. Uh, I got a pretty good haul of them recently. Right. And if you bring me back something to study, maybe I can make some <coughs> modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? <laughs> right. Uh, alright, I'll head into that minefield. Wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. Right, you right, sure. Down in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. All right. Um, I have to go now. Try not to die. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, 
Don't bother me. Uh, if you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy uh, enough taking care of people I actually like. Well, Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid and we'll get along just fine. Alright, Doc. Um, what do you know about the people here? A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. I'm only trying to help, Doc. Yeah, sorry. I don't think so. I'm only trying to help, Doc. Yeah, sorry. I don't think so. I'm only trying to help, Doc. Yeah, sorry. I don't think so. I'm only trying to help, Doc. Yeah, sorry. I don't think so. I'm only trying to help, Doc. All right, look. I'm only telling you this because you seem like an okay sort, and I'm hoping maybe you can talk some sense into the boy. Leo Stahl. That boy got himself a problem with Jet. I've caught him in here two to three times trying to steal what I keep around for anesthetic. Not even his own family knows it. He goes up to the water treatment plant at night to get high. I don't know. I can't reach him. Maybe you can. Hmm. All right. Uh, I have to go now. Try not to hurt yourself. What do you need? Hello. What? Uh, what can I do to help around here? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs, and I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. That's I've spent right. So much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. Hmm, can't you fix the pipes? I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night, and I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. Hmm, how many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Hmm, alright, I'll keep that in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Alright, I have to go now. Well, back to work. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what are you doing in here? Nothing. I'm... I'm not doing anything. Leave me alone. Hmm. Do you have something in mind to do for fun around here? <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But mm. really, that's none of your business, is it? Well, it's interesting you say that, because I understand you have a quite a chem habit. Damn it. Who told you? I, I mean, but I have no idea what you're talking about. It's okay, Leo. I want to help. Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. You're hurting your family, Leo. Jenny and Andy care about you. I... I guess you're right. I have to tell them about my problem, don't I? That would, that would be a good idea. I just don't know what to say. I've been stealing from both of them for years to get my fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll figure something out. Look, I want to thank you for your help. I guess it took a complete stranger to show me what an ass I've been. Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care what happens to it. All right, you've made the right choice, Leo. Thanks. It'll be hard, but I'll do my best. All right, I have to go now. See you soon.